So, uh, Lauren, I want to start with you have the big shot there in, and a regulation force over time, and then you have the big block on test seal to get, keep Sam Clare from taking the lead late in the game. Just, you know, you come in in a situation, you guys are down 15. Just mm -hmm. what energy did you try to bring to the game, and why do you think you had such a big impact? Um, well, we already knew that Santa Clara was a, uh, a rival for us and uh, like conference is always very personal. It's always a very personal game and I felt like we had come here and there was, there was a decent atmosphere here and that's, that's the type of energy that always turns me up anyways. So, and when I had missed the free throw in regulation, like I knew we had to win in the overtime. Like there was, there was no doubt about it. Like we had to win. But when I missed the shot in regulation, I knew we had to win. Like. Either way, so the block, it just it just happened to be what happened in the play, like it wasn't nothing planned. It's just the little girl was not getting a shot up. Gotcha. Kia for that lineup that went in there in that third quarter and made that big run, just you guys are all bench players, you know, all of you had sort of come in at different moments in the game, but all five of you go in and just basically stay in almost the entire third quarter and cut the lead from fifteen to three. Just what did you guys do and what changed there in that end of that third quarter? Well, I think we went, we started with the defense. We needed the energy and also just to be more aggressive. And we were more aggressive, we were able to get rebounds. And from that, we were able to get the, get the dot from the end of the day. Just talk about, you know, overtime, you're tied. Just the stress of overtime and having to just find ways to keep clawing and fighting against a very good center player team to be able to pull out a win like yeah, obviously. I mean, they were playing very, very well, and um, I think well, Lauren shot. It was amazing, and it, it obviously brought a lot of energy to the bench and to the people on the court, and it just gave more energy for the overtime and keep the aggressiveness level high and our energies high. So it was very cool. Lauren, when you make that shot with just a couple seconds left in the game, what was that initial thought in your head that when you saw it go in? Well, at first I didn't know if it counted. Like I wasn't sure if they just called the foul on the shot or if the if it was on the floor or if the the bucket counted. When I realized it counted, I was very excited to say the least. Like I knew that minimum we were going into overtime. Like so obviously after that my focus was on the free throw which I missed. But it was yeah, it was just it was a quick quick shot and it, it just happened to go in. Yeah. Now, Kia, for you, when they made, Molly made the five subs, you had a key three and then had a nice up and under move to get the momentum started. Did you feel that momentum swinging a little bit when you were able to make those shots and get those stops on defense? Well, I, I think it all started from our defense. We played very well as a team and we were able to help each other there. So then my teammates just found me in easy spots and I feel like we all got kind of easier shots from our defense. So it made it much easier to play and the flow much better too. Now coming up next week, two more road games at Gonzaga, at Portland, two of the teams that typically finish at the top of the conference. What do you two and the team need to do to just to keep the momentum rolling? I mean, I think we're just going to carry the momentum over. Like Gonzaga and Portland are more personal games still. Like they're, they're consistently at the top of the conference and like we're trying to prove that that's where we belong to. So we're going to take it with a chip on our shoulder that we didn't get the win last year. So we're going to get it this year.